Hey everybody, how y'all doing today? It's Mike, Way of Life. Um, hope everybody's doing alright. Been kind of under the weather myself, got head and chest cold, but y'all bear with me, we'll try to get through this. Um, I was just messing around today, y'all, and I wanted to show you what uh, what I was into. Uh, y'all saw my last video about the hatchet, and uh, um, start a new project. Well, I told y'all I was going to try to attempt to make a pair of shoes. Well, I've been kind of studying on it, contemplating how I was going to do it, and uh, I think I come up with something, y'all. Well, kind of show y'all what I've done so far. I'm already in process here, but uh, I took a real thick piece of leather, well, pretty thick and stiff, um, made, this is going to be my sole of my shoe. Y'all see I've already got it perforated all the way around, and uh, that's going to be the sole of the shoe, and uh, I've got some more leather here. This is actually what I'm going to make the upper main part of the shoe out of. And I want to show y'all the grain of this, which the slick side of your leather is the grain side. That's the outside of the animal. Um, the softer, fuzzier side is your flesh side. That's uh, the inside of the hide. But uh, y'all, usually this is kind of slick and smooth, but this piece has actually had the grain buffed on it, so it's almost like a suede. Not quite as soft as suede, but it's got that suede feel to it. And um, that's what we're going to use, make our upper out of. And, uh, y'all, I was going to do this. Kind of been thinking about this. And uh, I was going to do this by laying this in the center like that and trying to fold this up around it. But after I got to kind of looking and um, comparing, trying different stuff out, I don't think that's the best way. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a separate sole and a separate upper, and I'm going to take and stitch this to this and roll it all the way around. That way I have one seam right up the back, and of course after I get all that stitched together and sewn together, um, I'll have to do some cutting and trimming and folding and uh, stitching and stuff like that, but uh, I think I've come up with a way that I can make a pair of shoes, y'all. So. We're going to try it out, and uh, one of the other things I did, this is one of the bottoms. Well, here's the other bottom. And y'all, I wanted to put some kind of liner in the shoe. So what I did, I didn't want it to just be raw leather on the inside. So what I actually did, is just take a piece of camouflage, old camouflage cloth, recycled this, y'all, just an old piece of, actually, I, I'm not sure what this was, but it's an old piece of cloth, camouflage thin, soft, and uh, I think it would be great for lining the inside of those shoes. And all I've done was cut out the same as my sole, and then I'm going to line the inside of the leather, and as I stitch this together, the liner will be sewed into it. But anyway, y'all, that's uh, kind of where I was at so far on starting these shoes. I just kind of wanted to document it on video where you guys could see and uh, kind of share with you what I'm doing here. Like I said, this is a first for me. Never done this before, but y'all, I'm going to give it a shot. I think I got a way I figured out how I can do this. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll keep y'all updated through the process, and uh, we'll see how it turns out, y'all. Well, everybody, I've got the upper attached to the sole. Um, so far, that's what we've got. It's my sole down here. My grandson is waking up. Um, but uh, anyway, y'all. You see how I wrapped that all the way around the sole and uh, got it all stitched up. Now what I want to do, I'm going to figure out how tall I'm going to make this boot from the sole up. And then I'm going to stitch up the back here and put one seam up the back. And uh, as soon as I get that done, y'all, I'll uh, get back with you and we'll do an update, see how things look. All right, everybody. Huh. Y'all, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, I've had to put this shoe project here on hold for about four or five days. Um, I've been sick, like y'all, you know, I've told y'all last couple videos, I've been sick for, uh, it's been going on a couple weeks now. Y'all know I don't go to doctors and I don't take medicine, but uh, my wife made me go to the hospital the other day. And, um, anyway, starting to feel a little better. Uh, hard to get out and find the plants and stuff I need to make anything I need to get better but I did find a little bit and, and got a 
got some tonic going and made me an elixir and been taking that and juices and stuff like that but uh anyway y'all what I did y'all seen last I had sewed this up um made it completely round around the sole where I stitched it and uh I'll tell you what I went on doing. I did get this done. I cut the tongue out, got the tongue made, and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this and shape it the way I want the shoe to shape and wrap around the foot, and uh, then we're going to stitch up the edges and put us uh, punch us some holes for our uh, laces and stuff like that. And uh, when I get that far, y'all, I'll show you the rest of it. All right, everybody, I'm going to show y'all where I'm at. I got this stitched up all around the sides, all across the toe. Got the toe area finished. Um, got my got it stitched up the edge, and y'all see these here. This is my eyelets for my laces. Now I'm gonna drop down just on the other side of the eyelets and stitch that up, and uh, we'll see what it looks like when we get that done, y'all. everybody new day feeling a little better and y'all you know I told you when I started this shoe project here that uh, I'd never done this for but y'all I'm gonna tell you what I did I went on and finished one of them and uh, kind of show y'all what I got there that's the front of it there's all my eyelids and my laces I've stitched around um, I put a stitch across here just for a look y'all and to hold the, the I guess the lap you call it down and I fringed this y'all and I add a little decoration to the back. I had these little, let's see here, I got one like that. I had these little, I think they're plastic or some kind of alloy or something. Little feathers and beads and stuff. So I put one on the, stitched it in back on the back. And y'all, 
Um, that's my interpretation of a pretty much a moccasin, moccasin style shoe. And uh, like I said, y'all, that was a learning experience. Never done this before. And uh, now I'm gonna kind of show you what I did as I went through the different steps. Anything I might have missed, I think I already showed y'all this part. But all I did, y'all seen the sole that I cut out, the bottom of the shoe, got it perforated around the edges. Then I cut me another piece, and after making the first piece, I knew how tall and how wide and everything. I made this eight and a half inches by 24 inches, and I've got it perforated around the edge. And now I'm going to stitch this all the way around and roll it up just like what we had before. And uh, when I get to that point, y'all, I'll show you what I did next. All right, everybody, got it stitched up around the bottom. Now what I'm going to do, this is the heel side. We're going to stitch up the back side. All right, y'all, got the back stitched up. Now what I'm going to do is make the tongue. Y'all can see there, I've got it marked, centered in the front. And I'm going to cut that, and we'll get ready to start making some stitches on the front of the shoe. Okay, everybody. Um, y'all seen before, got the tongue cut out. Got the, uh, the sides and the shape of the shoe cut out. And uh, got my eyelet holes in there and everything ready to stitch up, so... That's our next step is stitch all this together and uh, we'll see what we come up with y'all. Alright everybody. Got all the everything stitched up around the front, around the eyelets and stuff. Um, went on made my cuff, fringed it, and y'all what I mean by fringing all I done was take and split that, about half of it. And now what I'm gonna do is put a decorative stitch, I've already got it started here, put a decorative stitch around the top of the flange, uh, top of the fringe all the way around and then all we'll like is putting our lace in and um put our little decorative feather on the back and the shoes will be done y'all we'll see how they turn out here in a minute all right everybody finally finished this shoe project and uh y'all i ain't telling y'all that this is the only way i ain't telling y'all that this is the right way but this is my way more or less, y'all, it's just like everything I do, my interpretation, and uh, never really, like I told y'all earlier, I never really made a pair of shoes before, but uh, kind of, you know, I'm, I've been on a quest for knowledge, I guess you call it, y'all. Uh, I'm trying to do everything I can to learn any skill that I can learn to be self-sufficient, and uh, I think that's anybody's goal that, uh, you know, does bushcraft or... Um, um, any prepper or survivalist or homesteader, I think it's everybody's goal to, uh, anybody with that kind of interest, I think it's their goal to be as self-sufficient as they can. And I look at it this way, this is just another bit of knowledge, another skill to where if I have to, I hope it doesn't come to the day where I have to, but if I have to, I can actually pay, make a pair of functioning shoes. Um, like I told y'all, never done this. Something I've been wanting to try. And I'm not saying that they're as stylish as something you go to the mall and buy. But y'all, I'm happy with it. My first attempt at making a uh, moccasin style shoe. And that's how it turned out. Got our decorative feathers on the back there, y'all. Got the fringe cuff everything's hand stitched and um, leather lace but anyway y'all I just wanted to kind of share with you this project and uh, I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed doing it and um, as far as I know y'all I'm not going to say for sure what I'm into next time but uh, very next project I come up with um, I'll make sure and pitch it on film and share it with you guys and I just want to tell each and every one of you that uh, I appreciate you watching. If you would, please like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.